Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here we successfully complete our edit functionality. Right now uh, our specific role related all that our permission name and permission group is selected. Right so now I want to do I want to update that means if you want to add some of the another permission for a specific this uh, role then you can actually update it. Okay now let's do that work for doing this we have to go again in our edit role page here we don't need to change anything everything will be just like that same only now in our form. Okay, that is actually our form. So now into the form area, I want to create another new one. I want to create another new route. I just name that route and that will be not a store. I make it as an admin. Okay, admin roles and then update. Okay, admin roles update. And also here I want to do, I want to pass that our role ID, which I have already taken it. I take the things with this variable here. I pass it with the role. Now after that, okay, after that I want to do, I want to pass that our role and that is our role ID. Okay, I simply pass that our requested role ID great and that is our csrf token now we have to do we have to create this type of one of the route i copy it now if you go to our web route area that will be one of the post method better i want to copy this one okay after that i paste it now our name should be as a admin roles update that will be as a admin roles update so that will be the roles and update and after that that should be one of the id right so that is actually our requested id i simply pass it so i simply take it now that will be our new method i name it as a admin okay admin roles update update okay so now this type of one of the method i want to create as a admin role update and that will be one of the post i make it as a post method now i want to create this method in our role controller so now into the role controller area i want to create another new one that will be the public function and then our admin role update right great so right now that is one of the post method here we have to pass that our request and then the dollar request and also after that that is one of the id right so i want to do to also take that id because that here i have also passed one of the requested id so now that is actually our requested id so our first job is we have to uh, get our role so that will be the same i take one of the variable as a role and role will be our role model and now with this find or fail that will be get that our requested id okay i simply get it and then i want to get that our all permissions i take another variable as a permissions and permissions will be our which one here that will be our request requested field name requested field name that will be same here if you go to that our edit page and from here i have also passed it our requested all that permission i named that field as a permission right so that will be actually all that our permission i simply take it and i take the things with this variable as a permissions hmm, perfect so before what exactly i have done before if you go i have already added that things you can see here i run one of the for each loop and one by one i actually added all that our data so right now here i want to do i want to empty our previous data okay so here if you want to do this work then i want to put on the condition if if that is not empty okay that is our empty function empty function means here uh, that is our requested all that permission i simply take it with this variable when that will be as a not empty and then also in spid there is another function if you again i want to go there okay i want to go to that our google and that is our spidey okay spidey role permission that is actually everything actually ready made now i want to go okay here right now if you go there is also another function you can see there is a given that is a given permissions to and then that is also what exactly the name if you go to that uh, basic uses into the basic uses that is a role permission that is a given assigned role and you can see that is one of the synchronized permission that is on the default function as i told you everything actually ready made so now that is our synchronized and uh, permissions area i want to do i want to pass that our permission so that's all you have to do now i want to actually simply call it okay call that function so that will be the same uh, here i i have already take the same variable as a role now with this role i want to call that our synchronized permissions and into the synchronized permission function area i want to do i want to pass that our permissions okay so that is our requested permission that i have already take it now here i simply pass it so now that will be automatically work 
now i want to do i want to display some of the notification message but i copy it and now after that after that i want to do and to paste it so now that will be displayed on the notification as a role permission updated okay updated updated successfully and it will be written redirect to our all role permission page okay friends that's all you have to do now let's check this out if you know click as a save all and then i want to run again our optimize php addition optimize is running and now if you go like i want to refresh it okay right now for the sales for the sales our role here before i have selected only the category and then comment now i also want to add some of the permission like i want to increase it i want to also add it all that our um, amenities okay now let's check this out if you now go to that our save changes hmm you can see that is a role permission updated successful and also for the sales you can see now it's successfully added our another permission as a amenities menu amenities all add edit and delete before that was only that category menu and our content comment menu right now if you click as a edit again now yes you can see that is also now successfully selected and now on to remove both of these now on to update now click as update now that should be updated yes only that our amenities is visible click as edit hmm that is also successfully visible and now if you go admin for the admin i want to simply minimize some of the things like here i only want to get the permission for the uh, property okay i want to make it as unselect now only he is able to get some of the permission for the property delete also now i want to check it click as a save changes Hmm, you can see it's now successfully updated click as the edit now only our property is selected okay friend here how to update it i hope now it's very very much clear to you so you know next video i want to complete our another part that means here we successfully done our add permission edit permission also update permissions now in our next video i want to complete that our delete functionality okay and when it will be deleted that will be also remove all the data from our role has permission table okay from to this position that will be also removed so how to do this work but i want to continue this process in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video